Hello and welcome to Vince Love Academy. This is part 18 in our network basics tutorial. In this lecture we are going to discuss software and hardware firewalls. If you haven't yet seen the 17 previous parts, you can find the list to the playlist in the right corner here. So, what is a firewall? Well, all of us have in some way a firewall installed on our computer because they come in two different kinds. We have a software firewall and a hardware firewall. And a firewall is basically what scans all incoming network traffic or outgoing network traffic. And it is supposed, if setting up correctly, to defend us against malicious traffic or someone trying to steal information by sending it out from our computer and over to their own server. So the reason that we all have a firewall installed, even though we don't have a specific application, is because most operation systems come with a built-in software firewall. For example, Windows has its own Windows firewall, which has been debated about how good or bad it is, but that's for another video. But here we will be diving into what is the difference between the software firewall and the hardware firewall, and why we can get a huge benefit by combining the two of them. So, first of all, a software firewall. As mentioned, software firewall is what is installed on your computer. So this is on the client side. And the reason why a software firewall is very good to have, either as the Windows firewall or as an installed antivirus application that has built-in firewall, is because it have access to all information on the client. So your firewall installed on your computer will have access to all the information and traffic going in and out of your computer because it is installed on that computer. That allows you to make very specific rules for that firewall because in the end a firewall is only as good as the rules specified for it. So you can specify very specific rules, for example if you have an application that you don't want to send information out, you can spe specify a specific rule that blocks all information coming from that particular application. Or you can, for example, block all traffic for your on your computer except for that one application you know needs to send out information. In that way you are sure that no traffic is leaving your computer unless it's going through that single application. And the way that rules is specified is typically using ports or protocols such that you define that only this protocols on this port are allowed to either come in on my computer or going out of my computer. So another benefit of having this software firewall except for the information that it has access to is that it is very inexpensive. It doesn't cost much to buy a uh, anti-software, anti-virus application which has these built-in firewalls or simply just to buy access to a software firewall in a standalone application. So in that way it is very inexpensive. But the problem with these firewalls is that if there is a, a vulnerability to the operation system or from the vendor you bought it, then the attacker only need to break into that particular operation system if it is the f Windows firewall for example or if you're having it from a vendor then he only need to break down that particular uh, Windows application and then your firewall is basically useless because you can just close it down. And that is why we also have hardware firewalls. So hardware firewalls is built into physical devices as we see in the picture here. So instead of having it installed on each client, the hardware firewalls is built to handle traffic from multiple devices. So it will typically be built into your router or switch as it comes as standard in most of these devices because then you can specify rules for the entire network. So what that firewall will do in the hardware is to look at all information coming into the network and not only on your particular computer because a software firewall will lose grab of what is going on on the network as soon as something leaves your computer because it has no access to the entire network that is controlled only by your switch or your router which you use to connect to the internet and that make it much, much more robust and configurable because it has information about the entire network and it is the device that controls what comes in and comes out. So basically it will know that traffic is coming in for this particular computer. So even though the firewall is set up on this computer and you might forgot to add a rule on this one, this one will get attacked if you only rely on software firewalls. 
but if you have a fire hardware firewall in this device then it will block and protect the entire collection of computers so that makes it much more easy for us to control and that is why a hardware firewall has some huge advantages over the software firewall even though that it has no access to the information on the client so it is it don't know what exact applications you have installed because it only care about the network so now that we have discussed the difference between the software and the hardware firewalls we also need to talk shortly about port security because ports is port security is a huge thing when discussing firewalls because that is one of the key parts of the uh, rules that we are specifying in our in our firewalls so we have two types of ports we have the logical ports and we have the physical ports the logical ports is based on the TCP IP protocol meaning the traffic and our computer have several thousands of these we discussed ports in a previous video so go back and look for that if you are interested in exactly these ports and then we have the physical ports which is X is the port that we connect our cables to so when you take your network cable and plug it into a computer that is a physical port and you can make different rules for these so you can make a rule for your logical ports meaning that traffic coming to this IP or from this IP on this port can be blocked or you can make a rule that blocks this entire port from being used so whatever people try to put into this port your computer will simply just deny it and that is the key difference between these two so combining of both the software and the hardware first of all as mentioned you can combine your physical hardware with your routers and switches and the advantage of doing that is you save money because then you have multiple things in the same device so you don't need to have two different uh, devices so of course that is cheaper than buying two different things and you will also save time because then you only need to know how to handle that one device but the problem with that is that when you are combining things it normally isn't that good at, as if you are dividing them because they don't have a speciality for example in firewall that device if you're also having the router because it needs to handle so many things so unless you pay a huge amount of money you will only get a medium device that is okay at routing and okay at doing the firewall stuff so that is something that you need to take in mind when you are combining these and that is what most of us are doing in our home network and that is why it is important for us to combine the software and the hardware firewall because as we saw with the software firewall a vulnerability in our operation system or the application will break out of fence the same is the case for our device if you have combined it all in one device then if that one device is broken or have a vulnerability for example the vendor implemented some kind of vulnerability that got discovered one year after it was released then all people need to do is to use that vulnerability to get into your device and then you are again pretty owned because that is all you got so that is the reason why we need to have both software and hardware because if our hardware firewall either get broken into or let something malicious traffic pass we need to rely on our software hard uh, firewall and again from the other side if we get some malicious software into our client computer and it is capable of cheating our software firewall we need to rely that our hardware firewall will defend us so by using these two things you have the maximal uh, protection that you can have given that you know how to specify the exact rules and for a standard user who is not used to define such net network and traffic rules if you just have the right uh, antivirus application with default firewalls installed it normally have like a setting you can set it to medium or high and that will have some built-in rules that based on what have been known in the past will protect you in some way and the same for the hardware firewall it comes with some built-in rules that should keep you some somewhere safe but if you really want to be as safe as possible then you need to study your particular device for the hardware firewall and you need to uh, study your particular application or uh, client computer because you need to know exactly what kind of software is running and what kind of software is sending out information because then you can start to close down all the other ports that is not whitelisted so that you are sure that only the right information is getting through. So this was all for this lecture. See you next time here on Winslow Academy.